Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be starting the new year with my 2023 project pan intro. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. If you caught my project pan finale for 2022, you saw that I learned some important lessons about panning. With powders, I'm not going to work so hard on finishing them all up, I am going to be working more toward hitting pan on those products. So let's get into it. So I have pulled seven products for this year's project. And given that I was able to use up so many products in 2022, whether it be products that were in the project or not, I have decided I have set the goal of using up 23 products in 2023. So I know it's a lofty goal, but I think it's one I want to work towards. So let's jump in to the 2023 project pan selection. We're actually going to be starting this project with seven items. And then at the first check-in in February, I will decide whether I'm going to add in some more or not. But for now, these are the products we're going to be working on. So one thing I learned last year is the importance of keeping in of adding in products that you know you can finish because it kind of helps keep the momentum and the motivation going. So I've decided to put in my Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Coconut. So this one is running pretty low. It's already down to here. I know I can finish this and I was trying to finish it by the end of 2022, but I didn't. So we're gonna try to finish it up now. So I'm gonna try to finish it up this month. I think I could definitely finish it this month. If not, I'll have it done by March at the very, very least. But I know I can finish this one and finishing up lip products is really satisfying. So excited to have this one in here. I've also added in a lipstick, which is going to be my MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in the shade Modesty. I'm a huge MAC lipstick fan. I have a pretty large MAC lipstick collection. And the shade Modesty is one that's been my favorite for a long time. It's just a really beautiful pinky nude. It's the one I'm wearing today. It goes with everything. And you can see that she's pretty well loved. She's getting near the end. I definitely think we can finish this one. I just need to have a focus on it and put it in my project. This is one I used to wear to work every single day. That's how I got so much use out of this. It used to live in my purse and I would just wear this for work every day. And then I started working from home full time and I just don't reach for lipstick every day. However, when I'm filming, I do. So I'm gonna leave this on my filming desk and that will help motivate me to finish this up. It's probably one of the oldest lipsticks in my collection, which is why I've decided to put it in. I love it so much, but once I use it up, I can buy a new one. I just wanna get this finished because I don't wanna waste it. Okay, I've also added in a primer to this one and this is a mini. This is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. So I've said in the past that I don't really like this one and I've learned to like it more. I've learned the trick is to only use a little bit that if you overuse this, it will pill. But if you use a really small amount, it will look really nice and give your skin a bit of an airbrushed effect. So this is another one that's running pretty low. And because it's a mini, I do think I can finish this up. But I've also been using it pretty consistently over the last few months in general. So I really don't know how long this is going to take me to use. But I did want to put it in the project to hopefully use it up. I do have a lot of primers in my collection, which is kind of strange. But I do want to start putting a dent in my primer collection. So I thought we would start with this one because this is probably the most used and then we can add in more if I manage to finish this one. Okay so I've also decided to put a foundation in this project and this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. So this was my favorite for a long time and this ended up getting reformulated at the beginning of 2022 and I like that formula a lot more. So I am going to put this in my project so I can work toward finishing it up. This is definitely a very light coverage foundation, so this is gonna be good for every day. The shade is R260, and it's a little bit deep for me, honestly, so that might hinder my usage, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I just don't want to waste this, given that it's now one of the, if not the oldest foundation in my collection. I just wanna get it used up and not waste it, and I know it's not a favorite anymore. Uh, and you also can't get this formula anymore. So I do want to get it used up and be able to get rid of it. 
A powder that I have put in the project is my Dior Powder No Powder. So this is one that has actually been discontinued. I believe they're reformulating it. So this is one you can't get right now as well. So that's another reason I do want to go through this. This is a powder that I like, but it's not a favorite. First of all, it gets hard pan way too easily, which I really don't like. And I do just have powders in my collection that I think are much more effective and that just work better for me personally. I initially picked this up because Samantha March raves about this powder. She raves about how good this is. She loves it. So I wanted to give it a go and I think it's fine. I like that it's a very lightweight powder. I like that it's not too heavy. I like that it doesn't make my foundation or concealer look super dry when I use this. But because it gets hard pan so easily, I find I just get really annoyed with it and I don't wanna use it. So I wanted to put this in the project to focus on it more. And like I mentioned in my 2022 finale, the goal with powders is going to be to hit pan. So I'm not trying to use this up entirely. I'm just trying to hit pan on this for now. So I do have a pretty good dip right in the center, so I think I can hit pan. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I do at least want to hit pan on this. And it's one that I am going to use until it's gone, but the goal of putting it in the project is to just focus on it and at least have pan showing. Next, I've also added in a new bronzer, so I'm so excited to be playing with a different powder bronzer. And this is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Airbrush Bronzer in the shade One Fair. So I have been madly in love with her Beautiful Skin Cream Bronzer, but I wanted to put this one in. I do have a fair dip in the middle. I highly doubt you can see it on camera. This is just a huge, huge bronzer. And because it is so expensive, I do at least want to hit pan on it soon. I don't want it to just sit in my collection being unused. I don't reach for this one a ton because even though I'm super fair, this is a really, really light shade and it barely shows up on me. So I think that it's just so fair that it's not my favorite. So I do kind of want to use this up and even though I think it's beautiful, I do want to hit pan on it so I can cycle in a new bronzer. I bought a lot of new bronzers in 2022, so I really just want to focus on showing all of them some love. So I want to hit pan on this one. And then in a risky move, I've decided to put in my ABH Soft Glam Palette. So this is not one I'm trying to use up by any means, but I do want to hit pan on at least two shadows in here this year. That's my goal. I feel like I test out and try a lot of new eyeshadow palettes, which I do because they're my favorite thing to test and review. That being said, I do still want to try and get use out of the products that I do have. So given that this is a very neutral palette, I know I'm not gonna have an issue reaching for this one. I do have a sizable dip in tempera as well as burnt orange. So I think I can hit pan in those two shades and I'll feel a lot better. And this is a palette that's so easy to reach for every day. So I'm not going to mind. So definitely doing this year's project a little bit differently, but I think with my new strategy, I'm going to get a lot more use out of my collection, which makes me really happy. So that is it for me today. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. Thank you again so very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.